All right, guys, back at it. Uh, getting this drive shaft installed. So, what you want to do is put the bearing and flange on that side and then sneak it through on the chain case side and then get that side in there and then get this side um, started. Uh, so we'll get this drive shaft in and get back to you. Okay, got the drive shaft in. There's just, you know, three bolts on that side and then three on that side. And looks like the drivers align with the, uh, with the track. So up next we'll, uh, put, try putting the skid in. Stay tuned. Okay, the, got the suspension inside the track. Um, might help if you take like that wheel on the other side off to get it in there. It's a little bit easier and then just put the wheel back on. Um, and then I took a tap and I cleaned out these threads as a 3 8 by 16 tap. I did that front and back. And now we're going to see if we can get the, uh, the front end. All right, got it all in. So I ran into a little bit of an issue. Um, last time I did this, I was able to use this stock mounting hole here, but this suspension is just a little bit different and there's no way I was gonna get that to line up. So I, what I did is I drilled out the rivet on the other side of this reinforcement plate behind here and I just mounted it there. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a bit, a bit of work wrestling this in there, but it's in. Now I just got to adjust the track. I uh, got the secondary clutch back on. And just got to put the uh, lower gear on this side and put the chain case cover back on and hopefully tomorrow I'll we'll take it for a test drive. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching.